here is my crazy clock and what it's going to look like is this hands are going round and round and I'll stop now what you do is you pull up the crazy clock kit and all you'll see is this but over here you've got a clock I'm going to pull that into place okay I'm going to name this clock right then I'm going to put a layer above it I'm not even going to name it I'm going to take my line tool I'm going to have black lines you're looking to create the clock so that it looks like this so go back but you have to have the spare layer don't try and work on background it's got to be on layer 2 so 3.5 here we are okay that looks about right and then I'm going to draw another one and it's going to be slightly smaller for the second hand and they cross over I need to pull this a bit I think don't I and I'm going to get finally I'm going to get the red line for the second hand there we are so it's going to look like this now put in another layer call this hand one and another layer hand two and another layer hand three go back to ha layer one layer two rather I'm sorry get the selection tool deselect and then what you want is to get all of that hand okay and then you're going to cut it out cut control X to cut go up to hand one and you're going to paste in place control shift V and you're going to repeat that go back to layer two deselect and then click and hold the shift to me make sure you get everything X cut it out go up to hand 2 control shift V to paste in place if you don't do this then the hands aren't going to align properly okay I get the red one now I'll deselect click holding shift to get the whole thing X back to hand 3 control shift V to put in place now I'm going to go back and dump layer 2 because it's empty right Okay, so far so good. Go to hand one, get the transform tool, and pull the center point into the middle. This is how it'll pivot. Otherwise, it'll piv pivot from the middle, which is not going to be any good for us. Repeat that with the other layers, and pull the pivot point into the center down there. Okay, and then do the same for the th second hand. Right, so far so good. Then go to frame 20 and do F5 to insert a frame right and then oh I'm going to undo sorry undo go back to hand one okay and we need to we need to make this um, a symbol so convert to symbol F8 and I'm going to call this hand one and make sure that it's a movie clip and then okay and I should have done this earlier now we have to go back and put the the registration point in okay F8 hand 2 okay go back and move that registration point and then hand 3 F8 convert to symbol hand 3 and then move that registration point bingo alright back to the clock layer go to frame 20 and insert F5 then on 20 for the top 3 F6 for a keyframe so you should see the difference you've got black circles for these three and a white rectangle for the bottom one okay so far so good right hand one double click tween motion and then you're going to rotate clockwise 
which is why it was important to paste in place. Hand 2, select, motion tween, and this is going to be a counterclockwise to make it look really silly. And then hand 3, motion tween, and this is going to be clockwise. And I'm going to change the easing on this to four, minus 45, that just makes it go slower. Fingers and toes crossed, control enter, oh perfect, oh perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, that's our crazy clock.